I've always been fascinated by energy and how things work. Energy is fundamental to human progress. It's a key part of our daily lives. How we heat and cook, the electronic devices that we have, the transportation that we use, and really everything that's in our daily life involves some form of energy. Energy Exemplar is an analytics company. We build models that let people look into the future and understand what will happen with the energy system and how to navigate. What really excites me about the future of energy is just how fast the transition is happening. Things have changed a lot in the last 20 years. We've gone from a relatively simple energy system with a few large generating assets to a highly distributed system with a lot of assets. So you can think about a number of houses that have solar now and wind and all of these assets are distributed. And a lot of these are now variable. So they generate energy when the wind blows and when the sun shines. And so that's made this energy system a lot more complex. The great thing is in parallel with that, the power of computing and mathematical methods has also dramatically improved. So now we can model the impacts of those and understand how to plan and operate the system successfully. Accurate forecasting is fundamental to accelerating the energy transition. You can't afford to just get out there and experiment in the real world. Lexus helps companies make decisions by understanding what happens into the future under different assumptions. Those scenarios can be modelled. What types of generation do you build? How much storage do you put in? What types of transmission or power lines do you build? What incentives do you give consumers to change their demand patterns? Building an accurate model lets you simulate what will happen under all those different scenarios in the future and determine what are the best pathways before you go and build real assets. Plexus is like a smart map for the future. Your energy goal or destination might be to reduce carbon emissions or add solar energy to the existing grid. But to succeed, you have to feed your model to calculate vast amounts of data. This could be supply, demand and availability of energy sources, emissions data, transmission challenges, and so on. Plexus then calculates the best pathways using the inputs to arrive at your destination. So when energy sectors are planning for the future, Energy Exemplar can help guide them in making informed, optimized decisions from analysis to insight. We work with everyone who's participating in the energy system, whether that's fossil fuels, nuclear, renewables, and this is important because it's a complicated system and the transition takes time. So there's a role for fossil fuels today and there's a transition into the technologies of the future. Informed decision making is particularly important when climate change really impacts everybody. So understanding what's possible, the costs of it and the timelines is critical to choosing the right pathway. It's great to work with academics like Paul Dean and other thought leaders around the world. They're really leading the charge and the thinking on a lot of these tough issues and it's fantastic to be able to support them. We use a lot of energy in our daily lives and my research looks at the current energy systems that we have today and I ask the question, well, can we do the same amount of things in the future, but instead of using fossil fuels, can we use clean energy? Plexos was developed by Dr. Glenn Drayton a number of years ago, and it's a really powerful tool. When I started my research, I was very familiar with the software of uh, Plexus, and it was used a lot by industry to understand what the future of energy prices and electricity prices would be. Just by coincidence, I had heard that Dr. Glenn Drayton was coming to Ireland and he was going to give a presentation on Plexus. And actually, I remember the first time we met, I introduced myself, I told him what I was doing, and he said, hey, that's a really cool idea, why don't we collaborate? And ever since then, we've been really good friends. The other thing that we both coincidentally really enjoyed was running. I really love and enjoy running. For me, it's an important part of my daily routine. We've had incredible close collaboration, not only with Glenn Drayton, but with his company. And for me, it's been a very fruitful experience and very worthwhile. In many ways, it kind of gives you a scaffold for thinking about the structure of the future. Rather than just thinking about or guessing what the future might look like, can you simulate in terms of the energy that we need? We also have to be careful to manage our expectations. We're not going to flick a switch and change the, the world overnight. This is something that's probably going to take two to three decades. And that's something that Plexus makes very clear when you kind of look at these transitions. But we do need to start now and continue that momentum. 
As a researcher, as a scientist, you learn fairly quickly that you need to get comfortable with ambiguity. One of the ways that we can use softwares like Plexus to get around this uncertainty is to ask lots of different questions. Ask questions, for example, what happens if we don't move away from fossil fuels quick enough? What happens if the price of batteries decreases further? If they increase, if you can identify an uncertainty, you can manage it, you can address it, and if you can address it, hopefully you can resolve it. I feel privileged to be right at the centre of decision making for the energy transition. This is such a significant opportunity for society to get this right and the implications are massive. I am optimistic about the energy transition. The ability for technologies that have been developed in recent years and the platforms like Plexus really give me confidence that the energy transition can be tackled successfully.